Hey YouTube, this is Mimi, too blessed to be stressed, back at you with another video. Um, this video is pretty much, uh, according to the title, about my hair. Okay, this is the year of 2014, and as you guys know, my hair used to be red, and now it's black. Yay! So yes, I changed my hair color to black. I actually right now need to re-dye it because, um... I didn't do a really great job. You can kind of see the, I don't know if you guys can see the red still in there, in the root part up in here. But yes, I need to redo it, but I am feeling and loving the black. The black is beautiful. You know, the black and the berry, the sweet of the juice. So yeah, so I'm loving the black right now. And as you guys can tell that my root are not twisted because I have decided uh, to semi-freeform. The reason why I've started to semi-freeform, I don't know um, if my subscribers or whoever watched my videos, I made a video a couple years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, about me having thinning roots and my hair being really dry. As far as the dryness, I've um, combated that. I've uh, learned and experiment and try different products out to see what fits my hair and I think I've got the perfect regimen that helps with dryness so that I'm not worried about that anymore but I do have some concerns about thinning um, when my hair when I wasn't natural and I used to relax my hair with the crack you know the cream crack um, I had thin hair then so by me going natural I thought that would help thicken up my roots but as I noticed of by me re twisting constantly well not constantly because I retwist maybe like once every four weeks or once every six weeks but I've noticed especially like in the middle of my head if you guys can see like compared to compared to the roots here which is on the edge or even here it's really thin and I'm terrified I don't want it to pop off or anything some people may say that this is normal but this is not normal if I can see all through here that is not normal look at that and I have the problems really mostly um, in the middle of my head and on the side on the sides here see that and um, it freaks me out you know cuz I've been in this for about three years yeah three years December 20 fourth of last year made me three years locked and I don't want no hair to fall out I hear terror stories of you know people hair falling out and you know they the hair snapping off and I don't want that to happen to me so I decided to set my free form meaning that I am not going to retwist for a while but I will um you know pull them apart to make sure they don't lock up into like doo-doo locks because I don't want that so I'm rambling anyways so let me get into the products that I've been using that really help combat my uh, dryness because before I was doing uh, I was using the amazing spray if you guys watch Jalicia or Damien oh my god I don't know his last name but he's he's a guy on YouTube that does videos about locks he's very knowledgeable um, so he created this spray called Amazing Spray, um, and, uh, Jalicia was talking about it and gave us the ingredients on that, so I was using that, but, um, I started to realize that I did not like that Amazing Spray as much, even though it did help with the dryness and stuff, and it helped with the softness of my locks, but I really didn't like it anymore for some reason, like the smell and the ingredients and stuff I was using, I really didn't like it as much, but I did keep some of the stuff um, that was in that spray, so you guys can go check out the videos, uh, it's Jalicia and Damien something, Walters, I'm not sure what his last name is, but um, I'll try to leave it in the link um, below. 
if I remember. So anyways, pretty much, um, I used to shampoo my hair with clarifying shampoo, but I changed to a moisturizing shampoo, and I used to never condition my hair, so now I condition, and I used to never co-wash, and now I co-wash. I know I have locks, and co-washing I think is good too, because that helps keep the moisture, and you doesn't, and you do not strip the moisture out of your hair every time you wash it. So what I've been using to wash and moisturize my hair is this, the Herbal Essence um shampoo this is a hydrolicious reconditioning shampoo this shampoo right here is the bomb it's the bomb because it's so thick it's so thick you only need a little bit to really lather up your hair and you see how my hair looks thick now from the root um i don't need much at all and it's very moisturizing when you rinse it out your hair doesn't feel squeaky clean and actually feel soft and moisturized like my roots like I can see wave like I, I can see wave patterns in my hair now if you guys can see that I can see my natural wave pattern before I used to never see that with the clarifying shampoo so I think that's a good thing and then I um condition with their Hydrolicious reconditioning conditioner for dry damaged hair um, And these two right here have been doing real good for me And I haven't really been having a lot of danger for dry scalp and my hair actually been feeling soft and nice So after I shampoo my hair, but of course your hair needs to be moisturized so um, what I do is I do use a leave-in conditioner and I'm going to change this. I really don't like the Blue Magic brand anymore. Once again, this is one of the ingredients that was used in the Amazing Spray. And I'm just going to finish it off, but I really don't like it as much. I'm going to try to do something else. Maybe like try Carol's Daughter Leave-In Conditioner or try like that shade. They, they have this new thing, this new line that I've seen out here and, and a lot of natural hair people on YouTube world using it called the Shea Moisture. I think it's called the Shea Moisture. And I'm going to use their line and see how it works in my hair because I don't really like this. I mean, it smells decent and it's all right, but I'm looking for something more fruity and more girly like because I just want my hair to just smell good also. And this is not the smell that I want. It's not giving me the smell that I want, even though it smells good, but it smells more like medicated leave-in conditioner because it's tea tree oil. I don't know, but I leave-in conditioner, you want to put in a leave-in conditioner in your hair. And my motto is less is more, so I don't really do much to my hair. Um, and I use, um, and here is coconut oil. I use coconut oil and I use this coconut oil right here for my hair, my skin, my face, my feet. Coconut oil will keep you looking young and beautiful. Not forever, but for a long time. And I also sometimes use vitamin E oil. I did get this from Whole Foods. Very natural. It smells really, really good. Mmm. It smells really good. It has a lot of other oils in there too, like, you know, almond oil, apricot, av um, avocado, sunflower oil, wheat germ. Um, pretty much that's it. Yeah, it, it, it's really good. I love it. And I, and I really moisturize my face with this at night too because it really helps to, one, keep the skin young and uh, two, to help with the dark spots on your face because it does remove those uh, slowly but surely it does. Um, also to, uh, to moisturize my hair during the week, what I do is I get like a little spray bottle. I put a little bit of the leave-in conditioner, a little bit of, um, coconut oil, a little bit of vitamin E oil, a little bit of this bio silk, bio silk. Yeah, bio silk. I use a little bit of that. And since I brought this, I've still been using it because I have a whole bottle. You do not, I repeat you do not want to use too much of this because if you use too much of this you'll be smelling like ass ass you'll be smelling like ass yeah so you don't want to use too much of this um uh, just a couple drops supposedly it helps your hair grow once again i don't like this but since i brought it i'm going to use it because i hate for it to go to waste uh, once this is done or what i may do is transition between both oils i'm going to uh purchase the black castor oil because i've heard a lot of good things about that uh how it helps with uh 
you know, with uh, helping your hair grow back thicker. Um, so I'm going to use them on my edges and I'm going to use it in the middle of my head, my side and the back because, you know, those are the problem areas in my head. Um, so yeah, so I've been using this. You don't want to use too much of this and I'm going to swap this out for the black castor oil. So stay tuned for a review on that once I do that to let you guys know if, if it really does work. Okay, so anyway, so I put a little bit of water here, a little bit of distilled water, the conditioner, uh, the BioSig, vitamin E, coconut oil, and a little bit of this wild growth hair oil. And I just mix it all up. And depending how I feel, I either spritz it in my hair. I'm going to do so now. Or sometimes I spritz it in my hand. Rub it in. And just do this. You know, and it actually, my scalp actually feel like it's drinking the water and all the good stuff that's in the water and my scalp feel refreshed. Uh, you can do this after a good workout. Um, so that's what I've been doing to refresh my hair. Now, uh, sometimes, since I've been semi-free forming, um, I want to pull my hair back or put it up in a ponytail and I don't want to use gel for my hair because... It's just going to be flaky and I'm going to have to wash it. And sometimes you're just not able to wash your hair. Oh, that's another thing. Washing is horrible for me. I I notice that as my hair gets longer, it's harder to wash. So I can't imagine when it gets like down here, I will be dying. I'm going to have to be like outside somewhere washing my hair because I can't wash in the sink and how my bathroom is set up. I can't get in the tub right and I hate to wash my hair in the shower. Um, it's just me, maybe it's just me, but I have this, uh, itchy feeling if I'm in the shower too long. Like, so I, I, I just have enough time to take a bath and that's it. Washing my hair and taking a bath is just too much for me. I just can't, I'll be itching and it's just, it just, uh, I just can't. But anyways, so if I wanted to put my hair up in, in the ponytail or pull it back or something like that and I want the edges to kind of lay down a little bit I mean I don't want it to be slick because you know I'm free forming but I do use two products with that I use the olive oil edge control um, I recommend with this if you are trying to get something slick back real quick and go out the door I wouldn't recommend you use this the reason why is because I've noticed that when I use the olive oil edge control it leaves a white film even though it's even though it's thicker it's thick but it's not jelly and it's not flaky and it doesn't make your hair hard but it leaves a white film on your hair that I don't like I don't like but like let's say if I was uh, doing my hair the night before I would put my hair up in a ponytail put that on wrap it up and then in the morning, because it has dried out a little bit, I would uh, just rub some oil in my hand, go over it, and it'll be fine. But I wouldn't recommend this like the day of because it would just, I just don't like the white film. So I don't really go for this as much, but I do use it. But what I do go for a lot is just Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel by Ampro. You know Ampro, the people that make the black gel. Um... This right here, I love it. And I and, and I actually got this from the dollar store. It's a dollar. First of all, it smells delicious. This is how it looks. It smells so good. And you can put it on the same day and it doesn't leave a film. It does not leave a film. It really just lay down. It's not as, you don't get as much hold as the olive oil, but I wish I had my brush here. But anyways, you just put it on there and you lay it down. You, you just brush your hair and um, it lays right down. I love it. You know, I really, really love it. So those are the two things <clears throat> that I use for edge control or to manage my little map, naps in the kitchen area. So these two right here. Also, one more thing I wanted to talk about concerning um, my locks and what I have been doing. Once again, I've been semi-free forming and I haven't been retwisting that much. But when I do retwist, um, I've been using this Talia YG Lock It Up Tight Hole. Um, um, what you call it, Joe? 
It smells delicious too. It smells real good and I've been using it. Um, and I only use it once in a while and I don't use much. But I can say I have a love and hate relationship with this because I love it because it, it, it doesn't leave build up in my hair. It's easy to wash out. And um, if you let it dry completely, it does give you a great hold. But what I can say about this is um, it makes my scalp dry. It really makes my scalp dry. You know, even though it says that it's um, no flaking, no buildup, no alcohol, it really still flakes up my hair and I just don't like it that much. I like it, but I don't like it. So I'm going to use it a couple more times and see how I like it. Or I just might try a method. I seen this girl on YouTube use a method called no product retwist. Uh, so I'm going to try that and see how that works for me. See if, you know, if I retwist and it holds my hair. Let's see, because I feel like with my type of hair, I need some type of product to hold it in place because it's stubborn sometimes. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is pretty much all about my hair. I'm going to do a 360 so you guys can see my hair. And I probably got some lint area back here too. I got some lint in my back lock, so. And yeah, my hair is getting long too. It's getting long, girl, it's getting long. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Also too, I wanna tell you guys that I've been loving this lipstick right here and I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is uh, the Shocking Pink from NYX, from the Mac. Yeah, I've been loving this color, and I've been pairing it with, uh, from NYX, a lip liner called Bloom, 836 Bloom. And I've been loving this. You know, this right here to me, because I've been watching a lot of makeup YouTube videos, <laughs> trying to learn, child, um, is really similar to the Candy Yum Yum. This, I have this lipstick that's very similar to the Candy Yum Yum. And I have by Manali, Manali, Mi, Milani, yeah, Milani brand, uh, Rose Hip. Rose Hip, yeah, that's the name of the lipstick, it's Rose Hip. I wish I had it here, but I don't. It's called Rose Hip, and they are very similar to the Candy Yum Yum, because I don't see myself spending $15 on that. But, yeah, these two together, I've been loving it. The colors, it's, it's just, it's just fabulous, you know, and it goes perfect with my skin. But anyways, uh, this is the ending of the video, conclusion of the video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that the products that I've shown you guys uh, will help you because it has helped me. And um, I hope that my suggestions and my pros and cons of some of the products have helped you make a decision on what you wanted to use on your hair. Um... Freeforming is the best. I love it. My hair looks thick. You know, it's beautiful. I get compliments all the time on how thick and beautiful my hair is. And I just love it. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope your new year um, is filled with blessings and great things to come uh, from my heart to yours. Love you guys. Deuces.